Well, in order to understand the LNG as such in part of the whole energy chain, we have to look first at the big picture. Uh, gas as an energy source is growing and uh, is actually in the coming next couple of years passing coal as the primary fuel. And LNG is actually gas and uh, is part of that gas expansion. And LNG is the, the fastest growing uh, fuel actually in, in the whole, whole world at the moment. So uh, when look at looking at this and the whole value chain of the LNG, so the small scale uh, activity is really at the end of the chain. And uh, today, maybe not too much power generation is being done with the LNG, but uh, we can see a clear trend that this is going to increase. And especially here in Asia region, uh, there's uh, lots of plans for LNG in, in connection to the small scale power generation. For LNG is really the partly the cost of it being actually cheaper fuel than some other fuels. But really the environmental aspects are there on the background. And that that is really the driving force in the in the peak scale of the LNG expansion today. And uh, when looking at the issues, what what are let's say uh, <coughs> contributing to the possibilities of LNG being the fuel for the um, remote areas, industrial and, and, and uh, even domestic power generation. Uh, one of the, let's not say obstacles, but slowing down factor is actually the really the logistics and the availability of LNG in the small quantities. That is a, a uh, question coming down to the ship sizes of having small amount of LNG, having the terminals uh, ready to uh, load the small ships and uh, actually allowing them to even come to their um, facilities and terminals in terms of their um, safety regulations and, and uh, such. So this kind of a very practical issue there on the background is, is really uh, key uh, to be solved before really the small-scale LNG is, is taking off. When looking at a project, basically we are talking about uh, receiving a facility for LNG, whether it's a small one, uh, maybe a storage facility, or maybe really like a small-scale uh, mid-sized terminal. Uh, there are a few basic questions first to be solved if you are the developer, whether you want to make onshore facility, maybe floating offshore facility, uh, what sort of tank types, pressurized tanks, atmospheric type of tanks. All these are more, of, more or less solved by the project type, the, the economics on the background. But really the, the key here is actually then to look what would be your LNG consumption? What is your capacity needed in real terms? What how is your power plant going to operate? Is it going to operate full load or only a partial load? Because actually this operational load is the key of how much LNG you are going to consume and uh, what size of terminal you actually have to build. The terminals are expensive, the tanks are expensive and you don't definitely don't want to build too big facility.